After weeks of ongoing protests, French President Emmanuel Macron has announced he will end his country's military presence in Niger. La France a décidé de ramener son ambassadeur. Et donc dans les prochaines heures, notre ambassadeur avec plusieurs diplomates rentreront en France. Et nous mettons fin à notre coopération militaire avec les autorités de fête du Niger, car elles ne veulent plus lutter contre le terrorisme. C'est donc la fin de la présence française militaire au Niger. Elle sera organisée dans le temps, dans les semaines à venir, mais c'est la fin de cette coopération. Parce que nous ne sommes pas là pour participer à la vie politique. Pour... Hey guys, uh, how are you guys doing? Thank you for tuning in and welcome back to yet another episode of Mr. J's Reaction. And uh, it's not a bright day today, it's kind of like windy and you know cloudy, but uh, we're going to keep talking, right? Um, if you don't know me, man, my name is Jay. I'm a Mobilandian living out here in the diaspora. And for the past couple of days, man, I've been dropping vlogs talking about everything that's going on in Mobile, Africa, if that's your first time to hear that. Uh, I just want to say, um, I want to recognize everybody who's been watching me, man. United States, man, you guys have been topping the list for a couple of days now. You know, my audience, and we have the United Kingdom, uh, Canada, um, Germany, Italy, Netherlands. Um, the new play on the block is uh, Ireland. So shout out to everybody who's watching me, man. It's all love. Now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, today is Monday, and it's a beautiful day. My rooftop, same spot, working my butt off, and um, I just got the best news of of the week so far. I know the week just started, but I think that's this is the greatest news. And the imperialists finally decided that they are going to leave after, you know, backpedaling, after refusing, after trying to act like their own resources in Africa, they decided that they're going to leave. Now, of course, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about the situation in the Republic of Niger. Now, you guys know that it's been a... It's been a talk of war, man. It's been a back and forth. Leave, I'm not gonna leave 48 hours, I'm not leaving, you know, and then and then it turns out. I can literally tell you guys that I think I know exactly how we can kick out all the imperialists in Africa. First of all, before we dive into this whole French troop withdrawal and the ambassador agreeing to leave or the president saying that they're gonna leave, I want you to first of all give us that thumbs up man, hit that like button. And if this is your first time coming through, man, you can be part of the family. Just join, man. It's going to help the channel grow, the algorithm. And I appreciate all the love so far. And uh, let me just say this, man. Somebody sent me a YouTube link of the president doing an interview, finally agreeing that they going, he going to withdraw the ambassador, Sylvain Ide, and uh, the troops that are stationed in the Republic of Niger. Now, ladies and gentlemen, um, everybody knew this was actually a death trap for that ambassador because if you understand, if you've been following, if you've been watching and seeing what is going on, first of all, uh, the junta's came in place. They actually lived. They asked him to live. He refused to leave, and they cut the light out. Yes, they cut the light out, and then they cut the water out. So this man was living there without light and without water, straight African style. Now, the next move they did was, they told him, man, you gotta leave. He didn't leave. They took out his diplomatic immunity. So that man was persona non grata. Now, I, any rational human being at this stage, you know what, they gonna leave. But because we know exactly why France is in the Republic of Niger, we know exactly what they are doing, in Africa, they were like, now we're not going to leave because this is our cash cow, so we have to stay. Fast forward, while all these things were going on and uh, the president was trying to act tough, while all, he, you know, all the, the interviews, the shows that he was talking about, hey, we're not going to leave, uh, our, our policies are the best, man, democracy, blah, 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 
they were trying to negotiate in the background. Now, he's not going to come out and tell us that, you know what, I am negotiating with the, with the military junctas. And uh, everybody saw clearly that this was, this was an end game for them. Now, I want to say this. Given this Niger situation, it is very, very easy to kick them out. Now, to every French-speaking African countries where we have the French military station or the French embassy, the first things you guys need to do is cut the light out. Take out the light and then you cut the water. You know, white folks don't like to stay without taking a shower. I know French people, they have cologne, but I don't think their cologne will work in Africa, you know? Cut the light out, cut the water out, and then stop anybody from sending food, from taking food. That's it, man. They could not hold up. I know they don't add all the food in it. <laughs> you know, the president says he was uh, he was being held hostage. The whole world knew that he was just being he was just being a jerk for saying that. And uh, fast forward, the man was like, "No, you know what? We gonna leave." I just want to say congratulations, man, and kudos to all the the citizens of the Republic of Niger for not leaving. These, these people were camping out there, and they were already signing up to be part of the military that's going to fight in case there was an invasion. And I, I want to give a special shout out to uh, Mali and Burkina Faso, the leaders of Mali and Burkina Faso. Because we all know that with that military alliance that they formed, it was going to be a bloodbath. It was going to be dangerous. It was going to be another nasty episode of war caused by who? By France refusing to leave after people asked them to leave. I want to give kudos to these people because um, it turns out that's all we, we need to do as Africans, man. It's, it's supposed to be all for one and one for all. It's supposed to be what uh, the late Gaddafi used to say, we have to stand together. It's supposed to be what um, Professor Pierre Lulumumba of Kenya always preaches. We need to stand together. And I'm praying that this shouldn't end at this stage. If they could be consistent to resist and send France out of the Republic of Niger, I do believe that we can send France out of every single French-speaking country in Africa. You just have to stand firm and you need to watch out for any black legs. When I talk about black legs, I'm puppets. Because although France is leaving the Republic of Niger, best believe that she's going to try to put people in place to bring them back. Now let me just say this like I've said once over and over on this platform, man. Without Africa, man, France is going to be one of the brokenest country on earth. And it is my wish that in my lifetime that should come to pass. So this is good news. They are leaving. And there's another situation that just broke off in the Republic of Chad. We're going to talk about that in a different vlog. But uh, I'm going to throw it back at you. Uh, what do you guys think? Is it, um, was it a good move for the military junters in the Republic of Niger to, to cut the water, cut the lights, stop the delivery of food to the embassy, and then take away that diplomatic immunity? Leave a comment. I mean, from me to you though, man, Africa's rising, man. We're going to stand up. We're going to stand up for one, and, one another. You got to be a brother's keeper. You got to love your brother like you love yourself. Just like what the Burkina Faso and the Mali leaders did. Now that is a strong blow and I pray, I pray that so many leaders around that region join this blog so that they can be a counter motion to the ECOWAS military, whatever they have in, in mind. Man, that's my time. Be good, be nice, man. Do not forget to give us that thumbs up and like this shit. The more you like, man, the more we talk. But, man, I'm very happy, man. This is, this is some good, this is some good news. Let them go. Go for good. You feel me? Now, the other African countries, French-speaking African countries, you guys are next. Stay blessed. We go rise. Peace. Creation, reaction, God. Big up the RB family. Mr. J, I see you. I know some artists don't do this. God bless you and your families.